the scriptures on the screens as well. But I want to share a couple of quotes with you first. These are some quotes that have really helped to shape my prayer life and my prayer perspective over many years. Yes. Uh, not too many years. I know I've got a lot of gray in here, but I'm not that old. Okay, I almost came up when a pastor was talking about young people coming up. I almost came up <laughs> to get prayer. Um, I, I have four children. My oldest son is about to be 18 years old. That doesn't feel right at all. Mm -hmm. 18, 14 year old son, 10 year old daughter, seven year old daughter. Wow. Woo, man, I'm going to be young till I'm in my 60s. I can't wait. <laughs> but uh, these verses have helped me in ministry uh, when it comes to prayer. The first, this is beautiful. Listen to this. I used to pray that God would feed the hungry or do this and do that. But now I pray that he will guide me to do whatever I'm supposed to do. Mm. Oh, wow. That, that's worth pausing for. I used to pray for answers. Yes. But now I'm praying for strength. Mm. I used to believe that prayer changes things. But now I know that prayer changes us. Ah. And we change things. Ah. Wow. Come on. Wow. Now, yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. I'm like, what? Well, it's not T.E.J.'s. <laughs> right? So I've been like, you know, pick your favorite pastor, Stephen Furtick. Oh, Mother Teresa, who said that. Yeah, wow. And if wow. you had uh, uh, this revelation of prayer, it'd be someone like her who devoted her life yes, to what we call suffering. Mm -hmm. But she said, I, I matured in my life of prayer, and I stopped praying for things, and I started praying for God to change me, because I knew if he could change me, then I could change things. Yes, yes that's good. I love this quote also. Now, this, 